Hello everybody, welcome back to Throttle Grotto, and we're finally joining the Ferrari F136, yes it's a Maserati engine, to the CD009 transmission for the project that's coming up on the channel. So today we're going to run through all of the steps and show you the products that you need to make these two join together. So this is the kit that you can buy. Uh, it is sold by Speed Gems, and it's a pretty comprehensive kit. Um, there's their information. I'll also put this in the link below with a discount code that you can use for 10% off, which saves you money and helps them sell kits. So this is the kit. Um, all the hardware is included. You have an adapter plate. This is a bushing adapter for the uh, pilot bushing. Uh, the flywheel, and you will need to use your stock automatic uh, flywheel or whatever they call this timing timing wheel. It's got the starter gear on it, and that guy. These will go together with these bolts here, and we have some pins, a whole bunch of different hardware. You'll need some thread locker and a bushing, uh, which I have in the freezer right now. <laughs> I'm gonna go grab that real quick. Okay, so this is the bushing you'll need. I think I spent like uh, $6 on it at the Nissan dealer, $7, something like that. Goes in here, ideally. So this needs to be pressed in. I hoped that with uh, freezing it for a couple of days, it would just be cold enough to go right in. So I'm going to press this in real quick. And it's just that simple. That just gets shoved down into the adapter. So we still need to press this into the flywheel. We'll do that later. All right, the next step that you'll have to do is you'll have to remove the studs that are all the way around the engine mating surface because it comes with hardware to attach the adapter plate to these uh, areas of contact. Once you have the studs removed, we can go ahead and set up the adapter plate and the hardware to get mounted to the block. So we do have, uh, these two uh, 35 millimeter length M10 bolts that go in from behind and the one M12 up here that goes in from behind. And I, there's actually a machined spot on the back of the adapter plate that holds these in recess or whatever you want to call it. Countersunk so that they sit flush in the adapter plate when it goes on the engine. And you're gonna use these guys here, these M10 by 1.25 by 40s to attach the adapter plate to the engine. Now, there are two guide pins in the back of here that line up with the holes already in the block. So you set those set those up all right hey it's future jeff here coming to tell you that if your engine didn't come with a starter definitely get a starter before you try to install this kit because the three bolts for the starter, there's one here, one here, and one back here, all go in from the, the flywheel plate side or the adapter plate side. So in order to change the starter, you will have to take the transmission off, which is actually pretty similar to how the, uh, the stock setup works. So do yourself a favor, 
get a good starter before you put all this stuff into the car because that will make a huge difference. The next step is to install our bushing, which needs to go into our automatic flywheel slash flex plate. And it needs to go to nine and a half or 3.375 inches. I'm going to go with that's close enough. Three eighths or 9.5 millimeters. And if we use our, if we use our brain, we can see here, let me grab a light, that you can see that ridge there right at the edge of my caliper indicator. That's how far it needs to be pressed into. So if you're like me and you have a crappy Harbor Freight press that doesn't give the <laughs> room for the flywheel to sit into, you're going to have to do this the old-fashioned way. So uh, I'm going to, it fits fairly close. So I'm going to do this with a hammer and an appropriately sized socket and just drive it into the flywheel. Also make sure you get a socket that uh, <laughs> doesn't get stuck when you do this. All right, so we are at 9.53 mil. So that is installed. Although I wish I had a press to do it, but I just don't have that available. Okay, one thing to remember when you're putting this together also is that of these of these eight bolts here, one of these is not in line with the circle. It's actually inset a little bit. It's labeled here on the Maserati flywheel assembly, and it's also labeled on the Speed Gems adapter kit right here with a dimple or a little countersunk drill mark. So that is to remember when you're installing it on the crank because the crank also has the same the same setup so just like we talked about on the flywheel and the adapter plate here is our out of sync circle and it's actually pointed down because of where things have been turned and adjusted to so now we're gonna set all this on here and drop it a few times. And then these are the bolts we're going to use. I'm just going to make sure that this is lined up first. All right, everybody, I had to re-upload the video because one thing that I forgot to do, which means I had to take all this apart to get to it, was remove this flex plate uh, adapter or piece. You still want to keep the trigger wheel and the starter wheel, but you have to get this piece off the assembly because it wasn't manufactured, the adapter kit, with this piece in mind. So it came off really easy. I actually set it on a 28 millimeter socket, which was the same diameter as that, and then just hit it off from behind with a, with a punch and a hammer. So didn't even need a press to really get it off of there. It was just one of those things that has to be done so that when you install your kit, it has the correct spacing. 
There we go. Definitely don't forget to use Loctite on the threads of these. Otherwise, you will ruin a clutch. Okay, and then we're gonna torque these 25, 60, and then 80. And we're gonna do that in a crisscross pattern to make sure that they get torqued evenly. So I did this part out of order, but you won't because you're probably watching this and you haven't got the kit in your hands yet. So the three pins that locate the flywheel pressure plate assembly are dowels. Need to be driven into the plate. All right, now that you've done things in the correct order, unlike yours truly, you can wipe down the flywheel with some brake cleaner. Make sure there's no machining oils left on it. That may cause your clutch to slip. All right, so we're using a stock 350Z clutch setup from Exidy. It is rated to 400 horsepower from everything that I read. It should work great for our purposes. And then we're going to use these guys here, the M8 by 125 by 20 to attach the pressure plate to the flywheel. And then the last step here is to torque to 18 foot-pounds for the pressure plate bolts. Right, and now we are ready to roll our transmission right in the place. All right, so now the transmission is attached to the adapter plate with these guys here, these M10 by 125 by 40s. So if you're considering a really big high horsepower build or just want to be on the like uh, mentally safe side, I've talked to the guys at Speed Gems. They say that there's plenty of engagement here. There's like a half inch engagement in the threads inside of here, but you could lengthen these 40s and get your own bolts and have them come all the way flush because so you have room all the way around um, you could easily uh, run a bolt all the way through and then put a nut on the back of it if you were really concerned with it uh, but the guys at speed gems have assured me that the amount of gauge engagement here uh, engineering wise is sufficient to take the load 
Okay, the other thing to keep in mind with this kit is these down here. Now you saw these at the bottom of the adapter plate before, and unfortunately, with a wet sump engine, there's not as much room underneath here to put these in. So you're going to have to either, hopefully you can just twist them in by hand and then modify an Allen wrench. So that one went in by hand and then I have a cut down Allen wrench here that I'm probably gonna have to cut down a bit more. There we go. No, I'll have to cut down a six. Um, so you'll have to cut down a six millimeter Allen wrench um, to fit in between those two so that you can get these tight. All right, so hopefully this helps you figure out how to install the Speed Gems adapter kit on your CD009 to your F136 transmission. For me, this kit has been awesome because I've been wanting to put this engine into something and now I have the ability to do it. Now I just need the car. <laughs> but if you want one of these kits, head on down to the description below. I'll put a link there. You can order one with the code Throttle Grotto for 10% off the kit. And if you're new here, subscribe to the channel. That helps me out a lot. So hop out on the interwebs, order yourself one of these kits and get started with your own F136 swap. That's all the time I have for now. Thanks for watching. Until next time, get out there and work on something.